All right, guys, thank you, guys and gals. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. Uh, today's webinar is, in, is going to be discussing bifolding and trifolding door systems, a uh, couple of unique systems uh, that we have been putting on the market for quite some time now. So, uh, just we'll go over some details, applications, um, and then installation details and things of those things of that nature as we get go along here. Um, I'll try to go as slow as I can. And always at the end of the webinar, uh, if there are any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out. Um, locations for most of these doors uh, that, that we try to push or at least see a good use for them is in theater performance art venues, radio, TV, and recording studios, sound stages, uh, test cells, engine test cells, vehicles, noise generating, you know, noise generating products, um, interior and exterior applications manufacturing offices, gen set enclosures, machine rooms, um, and then where occasionally large opening access is desired with the daily use. And we'll get more into that as we get further down um, into the slides, a little more understanding on how what the benefit is having an opening of, of a, a big size like this um, and using the, the bifold trifold scenario. Here's a, a just a real quick visual on uh, one of the trifold doors uh, that have been installed. Um, real, you can see the cladding uh, is, is a feature that is able to be added, wood veneer, um, some type of finish, more of a clean look. <clears throat> so bifold, trifold design, um, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit further down. Feature common quiescing double leaf doors multiple leaves. Um, so it's basically the design and the installation features are similar to our quiet swing door, the double the double door, obviously. Um, and uh, we'll talk about genera generalities and, uh, and go over a few examples. Um, here in the first slide, a uh, nice 12 foot wide by nine foot high by folding door. As you can see on the outer perimeter where, where the hinges meet the structural steel, uh, we have the heavier duty hinges uh, to ensure that it supports the door leaves themselves, being that they expand out further than four feet. Um, we want to make sure that there is no bowing or or dragging on the on the furthest leaf. Um, we have multiple ways of locking the inactive leaf, just like a double leaf door. We've got a concealer style latch bolt at the header and uh, or a surface mounted latch bolt at the header and at the floor. Obviously, we can't do a concealer latch bolt at the floor, just like our double leaf doors because of the bottom seal interference, but we can always do either a mechanical or a manual sliding bolt at the top of each inactive leaf or both the inactive and the active leaf to maintain the doors in the closed position. So ideal for, so these doors are very ideal for, again, 12 foot wide openings, 16 foot wide openings, something that you can't really, we couldn't really get away with just doing a regular STC double leaf door. Um, this would provide the clearance that you, were, you would need. Um, some scenarios in the past were able to put a sliding door uh, or a vertical lift door on openings of this size, but this gives you a little bit more, um, if you don't have the clearance for a vertical lift door or a sliding door, this is a perfect opportunity to entertain the bifolding, trifolding style doors. Um, they do come with the steel framing. Um, nothing is supplied by the vendor. We have to make sure that what's where the steel framing is being installed. We'll have to coordinate that with a GC um, or builder on site to ensure that the structure that they are being mounted to um, can hold uh, the doors, the structural steel in place, um, and the doors cantilevering out that far. Um, the steel framing, uh, again, we, we anchor our heavy duty hinges to the steel framing and in the center, uh, doors, you'll notice as we get further along, we do our standard vertical, uh, cam lift hinges. Um, the, the jams, same magnetic style, uh, double magnetic seal all the way across header, uh, bottom seal has your standard Teflon bottom seal. Um, and then on the frame itself on the outer by the hinge pockets, it's the same standard double magnetic seal. 
Uh, we can use uh, standard hardware, your Schlage uh, panic bars. Um, we can use your push-pull handles, uh, and, and we can also entertain uh, any specialty hardware um, that comes up. We can, we can do a trial and error or try to fit it as best as possible with, from any other vendor. Uh, inactive uh, pin in place, uh, you, uh, as you don't want some of these doors to open, you want to access only one of the one of the doors in a 12 foot uh, opening. That 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 option is also available, uh, so you can use it just as an access door on one of the swing doors versus opening that entire uh, bifolding system. Uh, this is a, a good detail of the trifold door. This this is a 30 foot wide opening, uh, 12 foot high. Uh, this gives you a, a couple of exam a couple of differences between the trifold and the bifold door. Um, this one, as you can see, we use the heavy duty hinges on the perimeter um, where where the steel where they meet the steel, and we also use them at the second joint. Um, and that that's just a because of how far out these cantilever, we have to ensure that they're they're held in place uh, and there's no sagging. And once you they have a nice transition when you open and close these doors. Um, another part that is very important here is we have a rail system that's integrated into the steel to ensure that when you're opening these doors, um, they get a smooth, uh, uh, use, they can smoothly open, go into the po you know, into their own little pockets on either end, into the, to the uh, hinge, hinge area. You have a same scenario with the with the trifold uh, as you do with the bifold. You can or open just the two center doors to give you minimal access, daily access, uh, so you don't have to sit there and open the entire opening to allow uh, give you access points. Um, ideal ideal widths for these uh, for the the tri trifolding door is uh, 16, 16 to thirty feet. Um, we can go 12 to 14 feet tall, which is a, a big plus if, if they're bringing in uh, music studios, if they're reeling in stuff, equipment in and out. Um, it's, it's always helpful to have an opening that high and that, that wide. Uh, steel framing, same thing. Uh, steel framing uh, for anchoring heavy can lift hinges on jams, guide track on the header. That'll all be supplied with the door. It comes as a unit. Um, the only thing, again, that we would have to coordinate with the field is to ensure that the door can be held in place just for the weight itself. Um, standard double magnetic seal, just like your biparting door, um, you have the same magnetic uh, system where you have magnets on the frame and magnets on the door leaves to ensure that the acoustical properties are still there. Uh, hardware is also standard. We can use push-pull handles, leg hardware. Uh, Von Duper and panic bars, if needed, uh, depending on the application, obviously. Uh, and then we can always do uh, different types of hardware um, from other vendors, if needed. Uh, inactive pins are also in place for the inactive lower doors, um, slide bolts, uh, surface mounted, flush mounted. Um, we can entertain either one of those for the inactive leaves. Again, it all depends on the application. Um, and then let's go to the next slide here. Features and benefits. Um, some door manufacturers build the frames at one factory and door slabs in another. Uh, thus, the first time they meet in the field and there is no way to quali the quality control, they fit and finish. So the, the big thing that we as a company are always adamant of is that doors do not leave the factory unless they've been tested, fitted and tested. So all of these doors, bifolding, trifolding doors, they all get hung and swung in the shop, just like our regular double leap doors and our single single doors to ensure fit and finish. Quality control gets uh, to look at it. Um, it goes through the quality control process and then it gets created. Some door manufacturers send the doors to the site as a kit that needs to be assembled on site and installed by others. This kit includes hinges, sound seals, bottom seals, hardware, glazing, this takes a great deal more time to install than our doors. At the end, cost is higher or higher than our doors. Um, so same, same scenario, not only do these doors get hung, just to make sure that the fit and finish is correct, we make sure all seals are making contact all around. The seals come installed in the framework. Um, the hardware comes installed in the doors. 
So it really goes through all the features of quality control in our factory to ensure that when it's delivered to the site, the fit and finish is just like it would be in the factory. And we obviously do guarantee that the, the being that the door is installed um, in this factory and, and tried in the factory, we ensure the performance in the field. Design features, uh, so we have the adjustable uh, mortise lock, top one cover, bottom compression seal, same as our double leaf door, single leaf doors, mortise box, mortise box assembly uh, for the hardware. So the hardware can be supplied by others if need be, just like our regular swing doors. Um, we do supply a mortise box in order to be able to allow, it may, for a possible change in the future when they want to, to lock the, the two active leaves that they continue to keep active. Uh, internal reinforcement of, of door closers, um, same same scenario. If, if we have door closers or operators that are being installed in the field, we also do the internal reinforcement. Um, we have a four to six leaf option. So depending on the size of the door, uh, we can go up to six leaves um, and the height to give you the optimum uh, space to be able to get through. Uh, these doors can also be provided with flush or with windows. So it's standard ADA windows, full height windows, or half windows. Um, hardware to discuss this a little bit. So camlets hinges are still a part of a big key in the acoustical performance of our doors, even the trifold, bifold. So you're still getting our camlet hinges and some of the sections of the doors, um, three, three or four, or four per leaf on wide or the taller. So depending on the height of the door, the width, just like our regular swing doors, uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we put the correct amount of, of hinges on those doors. One of the other reasons why these get tested in, in the factory and swung, just to make sure that what was recommended and installed actually is functioning. Um, we also offer, just like our regular uh, STC 56s or 60s, we do offer the back set the custom back sets or our 50s, um, all the, the standard custom back sets are also applied to these for the for the hardware purpose. Most important features and benefits. The primary benefit should try to sell is field performance, not lab testing. We have a leg, we got a leg up on co competitors when we do. Uh, we guarantee field acoustical performance. Who can the GC customer count on when the doors the door is field assembled by a third party. So being that we do test this in the factory, swing it, make sure that everything is working properly, sealing properly, we obviously uh, guarantee the field performance. MV has current independent laboratory testing, testing conducted to current ASTM standards based on decades of providing design, or proven design, I'm sorry. Uh, here's your jam detail. So uh, if you guys are, familiar with our acoustic swing doors. Uh, here's the jam detail, nothing different than what our jam detail currently is now on our on our regular doors. You have the, it wraps the opening just like a regular acoustic doors. Um, it gets screwed into place, male and female style frame. And then you have your removable plugs to kind of give it a nice be uh, beauty and touch. Uh, leaf inter interface, so the astrical same, again, it's very similar to our swing double leaf uh, swing door. You still have the astricals in the center to ensure for acoustical properties. Uh, you have the bottom seal and the uh, seals on the perimeters, magnetic seals. Uh, important feature uh, for, for all noise barriers door systems is the bottom seal, the thresholds, all of those components are still a part of these bifolding, trifolding doors. You'll still get a threshold, corner threshold with the bevel. You'll get the bottom seal and Teflon tape for compression insurance that the, there is no leak uh, through the bottom of these doors. Uh, here's, a, here's a good picture of a four, uh, four leaf design, uh, bifold quiet swing door. Um, so this is one that we did just to kind of give you guys a, a nice picture of and an idea. We also, for a high school, we did same thing. We got a biparting uh, door system, you know, four, four leaf standard. Um, and then this is the nice six leaf wood veneer finish cladded door. Um, one important thing to keep in mind is a lot of the stuff that goes out from our factory can be sent out to the field in prime paint. So not necessarily do we have to install 
the, the wood veneering or the cladding onto it. This was added in the field. So a lot of the stuff can be sent out in prime paint, um, depending on the architect or the woodworking uh, group that's working on, on site. A lot of the times they wanna make sure that the wall and the doors match or somewhat similar, have a similar appearance. This all can be added in the field, trimmed out in the field. Um, as long as we know, one of the key components that we need to know is how much do these individual cladding pieces that uh, they that they plan on installing on our, the face of our doors, we just need to know what the weight is, just to ensure that when we're designing the door itself, we're, we're using the correct amount of hinges, the right thickness of steel, uh, and making sure that it's, it's developed and, and manufactured in a way that it'll sustain that. There are some limitations um, of weight, obviously, for the hinges, but we can also increase the amount of hinges to help with those limitations. That's all I have for today. Um, once again, I appreciate everybody joining. Uh, I know some of you joined on last minute, uh, and I appreciate that. If there are any questions, uh, would like to follow up with me at any point, please reach out directly. Uh, you can contact me through uh, our website um, or simply uh, send me an email and uh, hope to hear from you guys and I do appreciate your guys' time.